on the 1st. The Confederates regroup. By late afternoon, there is another Confederate assault here, which succeeds in part because the entire Union line, to my left as well as to my right, taking all the way over to Marlowe's Knoll, that line gives way. Certainly on the far Union right, it cracked. The reverberations of that shook this entire front. And so you have everything giving way late in that afternoon. They ultimately sweep the field. That's what happened here. Monument you have to your right, they commemorate which side? Union. All Union, yeah, good, absolutely. See any Confederate signs at all? Yep. Do you see any way signs at all that the Park Service has put up that explains this part of the battlefield? Uh, I think there's one right by the tower behind the bus. One behind the tower of the bus. We have one there. And of course, what's the most important commemorative element of this landscape? It's got to be the Peace Memorial, doesn't it? And when was the Peace Memorial put up? Uh, 38. 38, excellent, 38. And there are, of course, plenty of sources about that event. There were hundreds of thousands of people in front of the Peace Memorial. FDR was there. But it opened with a giant United States flag covering the Peace Memorial, the kind of flag that you see at used car lots today, right? I mean, that big. And then a veteran union, as well as a Confederate, came out hold on these cords, the flag came down, and ta-da, you have the Peace Memorial. 